Hi everyone, it's TJ from Avid, and today we're gonna talk about a very powerful and innovative feature within MBOX Studio, Variable Z. Let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Variable Z is a function of the microphone and instrument analog inputs on MBOX Studio that lets you change the input impedance of the interface to match the input source feeding it. This will change the feel and tone of the input source and give the user many different creative options. This concept was first introduced as TrueZ on the 11 rack interface's guitar input to match passive and active pickups with the device it would be feeding into. This could be anything from a tube guitar amp to an overdrive pedal. With the introduction of Carbon, Avid's all-in-one hybrid DSP interface, we added the ability to have this functionality on microphone inputs and renamed the process Variable Z. And now with MBOX Studio, all the interface's microphone and instrument inputs have this functionality as well. Let's take a closer look at how Variable Z works on both the instrument and microphone inputs of MBOX Studio. With the microphone inputs, you have access to three different settings, 1K, 5K, and 10K. There are several ways to utilize these settings. One is to better match the different types of microphones being connected to the interface, such as dynamic, condenser, or ribbon. Another way is to change the color or tone of the microphone. The higher settings are a bit brighter, with the lower settings getting slightly darker. This can change the vibe and sound of the source material and can be selected depending on what the situation is. For the instrument inputs, there are seven initial values of 22K, 32K, 70K, 90K, 230K, 1 mega ohm, and high Z. These can be set depending on what type of effect or amp you're simulating input into, like setting the value to 70K or 90K when going into a wah pedal, or 230K with the input of an overdrive. There's also a setting for each of these values with an added capacitor to further simulate how guitar pickups interact with the input of a tube guitar amplifier, removing some of the brittleness and making the tone just a bit darker. You can also experiment with any of the settings to see if a different tone or feel affects how you are playing against the sound and mood of the recording. Setting a microphone or instrument inputs variable Z setting can be done in a couple of different ways. First, you can select the input from the MBOX Studio front panel input section by pressing the left input encoder to select the desired input. Inputs 1 through 4 for mic inputs and inputs 1 and 2 for instrument inputs. Then select mic or instrument. Now you can cycle through the variable Z settings with the Z button on the left side of the interface. Each setting has a different color indicating which value is selected. You can also change the variable Z values for these inputs in the MBOX control software by selecting a hardware input channel and changing the values under the channel focus tab. Variable Z is a very unique feature to Avid Audio interfaces allowing you to affect the tone and feel of the mic or instrument you are connecting to the interface. In our next video, we're going to be talking all about how you can use the MBOX Studio as a guitarist in particular. Make sure that you join us for that one. And as always, thanks for watching.